Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This may sound contradictory to what you might think, but a new study has found that electric vehicles have helped bring down the price of electricity in the U.S. Jordan Brin works for the Natural Resources Defense Council out of New York. She advocates for cleaner electric cars, trucks, and buses. So we know that transitioning our transportation system to a cleaner and electrified system is really important because transportation is the number one source of greenhouse gas in the United States. So not only is it contributing heavily to climate change, but also it releases pollutants and smog that are also help, are really harmful for people breathing in and cause a lot of um, health impacts, especially um, in communities that are more exposed to this smog. And so that's why we are trying to clean up our system. There are now 3.2 million EVs on the road in the U.S., so the NRDC commissioned a study to find out their impact on grid revenues and electricity pricing. EVs are saving everyone money on their bills. Uh, in short, EV drivers are charging their cars. They are paying money to their electric utilities, um, which is giving electric utilities an additional source of revenue because they're paying that money to their utility rather than to a gas station. So when they're getting more money, rates end up being lower for all of their customers, regardless of whether or not they own an EV. The utilities raked in an extra $3 billion in net revenue thanks to EVs. One of the reasons has to do with when EV owners are charging their vehicles. Great. So essentially, demand for electricity throughout the day is not steady. Um, it goes up and it goes down. So the grid has to be prepared to provide electricity um, during that peak load, which means that at other times of the day, when there's less demand for electricity, the system is sized appropriately. If EV owners all plugged their cars in when they got home from work at supper time, the grid would crash. But that's not what's happening, thanks to time of use pricing. Once people go to bed, there's a lot less demand on the grid. And so this is typically when we see EVs charging, people plugging them in before they go to bed at night and charging them overnight when that demand is low. Um, and California is one of the states where a lot of utilities do offer these rates. In California, EV charging peaks at about 1 a.m. Electricity grids have been designed to meet that supper time peak period. And what this means is without many upgrades, EVs are making much more efficient use of the grid. This is like really contrary to what a lot of the narrative you see out there today is that EVs are going to crash the grid, they're going to cost everyone a ton of money and that we shouldn't make this transition. But what this study shows is that it's not what's been happening. Um, and if we continue to plan carefully, um, plan upgrades in advance, and continue to use methods like time of use rates and manage charging to um, charge EVs when demand is low on the grid, we can continue to see this trend that EVs are not only saving the driver's money, but saving every electric customer money, which is almost everyone in the United States. EV owners have responded to time-of-use pricing in a voluntary way, but more decisive actions will be needed as the numbers of EVs continues to grow. But what we need to be making sure of at the same time is that we are putting policies in place like time-of-use rates, like managed charging, um, like some of these newer technologies and exploring those applications like vehicle-to-grid, those sorts of things, um, to make sure that we can minimize the number of upgrades that we will need. Indeed, some states such as California, Texas, and New York are starting to use smart technologies like DC Bell's integrated DC vehicle charger, solar inverter, and AI-powered energy management system. They do this to manage how and when solar, battery storage, and EVs interact with the grid. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.